Use case for dine-in restaurants. What may happen in a dine-in restaurant? For a dine-in restaurant of, say 20 tables of different sizes, at the beginning of busy evening business hours, the restaurant may be able to take all walk-in customers to fill all open tables, except maybe a few reserved ones, until they are all filled up. At this time, a line will have to be formed for all unseated customers to wait for being seated as soon as some tables become available after customers on these tables finish their meals. Before adopting any queue management system, to avoid the need of having customers waiting physically in line, the restaurant will have personnel start forming a virtual customer waiting time, by starting to take their names and information such as the number of people in their party, as well as any specific seating requirements, needs, or preferences if any, and give each customer party a number in the waiting line to be called in ascending sequence for service. In a normal situation, the lower the number, the earlier a customer party will normally be called to be seated. For the convenience of further discussion, let's call this as the customer number taking process. However, a typical night is hardly normal. As there are often occurrences of abnormal situations beyond customer number taking and new customer registration. These include, but not limited to, no show of a customer when service is due to be offered. The service offered does not meet the needs of the customer due to receiving the service, such as required table size mismatch or table location does not meet the customer needs, etc. Changes of number takers without recording or passing all information during the transition. The need for concurrent operations of multiple number takers to speed up the process due to popular demand. The reappearance of a previous no-show customer reclaiming a position in the waiting line. There is a sudden customer change of plan to abandon the waiting. The accidental mistake in table assignment needing immediate correction. There is a sudden situation causing a customer party already taken for service not happy with current table assignment and demanding a table reassignment. Such a situation may be a broken table, a central ventilation outlet too close to comfort, etc. All these will disturb the normal number taking and sequential filling of service openings, and thus making number taking and service provision in a consistent, correct, and efficient manner very difficult for a number taker especially during rush hours. This is where a smart queue management system such as the Pideway queuing system can come to the rescue. What's wrong with the reservation system? Reservations are often used as a part of the most common queue management strategy for higher end dine-in restaurants. In an ideal world, all customers should make an appointment well in advance and show up promptly. But life is full of unexpected things. A sudden traffic jam, accident, illness, or occurrence of unexpected other things requiring immediate attention may cause the customer party who made the reservation not showing up promptly or not showing up at all. As a result, there are usually a lot of unfilled reservation spots to be filled by walk-in customers in any dine-in restaurant. On the other hand, a great majority of customers start to think about what to eat and where to go for eating when it's about time for dining instead of planning ahead. Walk-in customers are thus normally the major source of revenue for a typical dine-in restaurant. Except for a few very high-end restaurants, exclusive use of reservation systems by a dine-in restaurant is bound to miss out on a major percentage of potential customers for revenue generation purposes. Therefore, even with a reservation system in place, to maximize profit potential, a dine-in restaurant most likely still has to somehow manage the queuing of all dine-in customers including walk-in customers and customers with prior reservations effectively and efficiently. What's wrong with a paper numbering system for walk-in queue management? The use of a paper number system inherently comes with the risks of any non-digital system all has, such as printer breakdown and running out of paper or numbering label supply, resulting in a reduced availability of the system. That is not to say that a purely digital system does not have such risks but that such risks are generally much smaller, well-known, and can be better managed. Moreover, since there is no name associated with a number, it is not personal to the number holder to have a strong desire to wait it out and stay in the queue. Besides, it is easy for someone to abandon his slash her number and transfer the number to a third party who comes in late in violation of the fairness principle of the waiting queue. If number transfer happens, 
this also works to the detriment of the creditability of the entire queuing system. The use of tangible paper printout or label, besides not being green-friendly or earth-preserving, but also created an undesirable risk of cross-infection of contagious disease through the common contact of the paper item. Most importantly, the paper system cannot communicate to the waiting walk-in customers. 1. Approximately how much longer they may have to wait to get served. 2. A possible reasonable explanation why if any but quite often necessary the queue is not progressing strictly in increasing numbering order, and 3. Any persuasive evidence that the queue is progressing consistently and fairly in some sense with a high degree of creditability. What's not so nice about an SMS reminder? Many digital queue management is designed with an SMS reminder. True that SMS can be potentially used to remind customers who are not on site. But several practical considerations make such design not up to its original expectation. The first consideration is the use of SMS requires customers to provide a mobile phone number in the first place. But to many people, the mobile phone number is considered a piece of information too personal, private, and personally identifiable to give out just for queuing purposes. This will force a digital queuing system to use SMS only as an optional feature for those customers who are willing to provide their numbers, in hopes that such a reminder improves their experience. The use of SMS simply cannot be a universal reminder solution covering all customers. The second consideration is whether such explicit reminder does improve customer experience or queue management efficiency. To avoid becoming overly intrusive, the SMS reminder had better be sent out only once. Then the issue is when is the proper time to send out. If the SMS message is sent out only at the time service for a specific customer party in the waiting queue is due, for a party who is already on site it is most likely an unnecessary act, for a party who is off site it is most likely too late and undesirable for the entire queue to wait an uncertain period for the party to come back to take the service. If the SMS message is sent out ahead of time, since the advanced time is only an estimate at best, and may vary because of either varying individual previous service session lengths or the queue is not necessarily progressing in strictly numbering order due to priority consideration, chances are that such reminder will mismanage customers' expectation of waiting time as often as they hit the target. Therefore, it is hard to say that on average the customer experience will improve as a result of using an SMS reminder. But the use of SMS definitely will incur substantial system operational cost, since SMS sending is not cheap. The third consideration is the use of SMS is subject to abuse. Because it is undesirable for the restaurant to verify by inquiry and a show of ID the SMS number provided does indeed belong to the right party at every customer's registration of the number. If the SMS number verification is done by sending a separate SMS message and a customer's click of a verification web link or sending back a reply SMS message, that further doubles the cost of SMS implementation. If no verification is done on SMS number provided by a customer, such an SMS number may be other people's number without proper authorization the use of which will damage the reputation of the business at least and may incur legal liability as well. Last but not the least consideration is the combination of mobile phone number and the customer's first name or initial will definitely make such a combination of information personally identifiable information of the customer subject to compliance of all applicable information protection laws. Although restaurants do often have to handle customers' payment information when customers pay with credit cards, it is unnecessary to collect or handle customers' personally identifiable information at this early queuing stage as to incur additional compliance requirements and costs. The use of SMS just unnecessarily jacks up the cost once more from this compliance of personally identifiable information protection law consideration. Queuing Management Success Factors for Customer Satisfaction For a queue management strategy to meet the goal of customer satisfaction, Besides the anticipated efficiency of queue management per SE, it must be able to manage customers' expectations properly. In the setting of dine-in restaurants, proper management of customer expectation includes, but not limited to, providing to customers. 1. An updated estimate on how much more time a customer party may have to wait. 2. 
a reasonable understanding on or explanation about how the process is going and how the occasional number jumping in the queue occurs based on a fair and creditable set of consistent criteria, and 3. A comfortable and convenient way for the customers to best utilize their waiting time to reduce their perceived waiting time. Adopting a queue management system which meets most of the requirements is certainly a good start. If such a system is easy to operate for an employee of the restaurant, the benign cycle of positive emotional interaction between the employee and customers further facilitates the business's achievement of customer satisfaction goals. From the efficiency perspective of queue management, the adoption of a good queue management system can not only enable safe queuing without physical queuing of customers to allow maintaining safe spaces among customers to minimize the probability of cross-infection of diseases, but also enable easy implementation of best practices such as 1. The efficient single-line multiple-service point queuing pattern 2. The bottleneck eliminating self-registration pattern 3. The AI-assisted fair and smart queuing pattern and 4. The personally identifiable information protection law compliant pattern ensuring no premature or unnecessary collection, storage, or distribution of personally identifiable information, etc. Pijui queuing service designed to cost effectively addresses all issues discussed. Queuing is part of the overall customer services provided by a dine in restaurant. Keeping customers satisfied with the service your restaurant provides can help your business retain customer loyalty and grow revenue. The judicious choice of a queue management system certainly plays an important part in this overall effort. Pijui queuing service is designed from the ground up to address all the above issues discussed while maximizing return on investment ROI, and minimizing initial capital investment, ongoing cost, initial system learning curve, and time to deployment. It is thus the queue management solution of choice for dine-in restaurants of all sizes. For more details, please visit our website at http://crowdinfo.net.